So people, we've had a new update from Outriders, people can fly, which suggests that restoration for our missing legendaries will be applied sometime before launch, and today we check out it all, as well as the patch which is now available for Xbox, which was previously available on PlayStation and PC last week. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so first things first, they state, the patch that was previously released on Steam and PlayStation is now available on Xbox. Steam and PlayStation have also received an additional minor patch, the content of which has already been rolled into today's Xbox patch so that all platforms are now aligned. Now without the minor fixes that are applied to today's patch, what PlayStation and PC players got last week was the added motion blur toggle. They made minor tweaks for frame rate output for certain items in cutscenes. However, they said they are working on a more comprehensive fix in the future. They made adjustments to cut down on the time it takes to match make and made other minor improvements and fixes. So this is great. I mean, to be honest, uh, the main thing for me was motion blur. I mean, I'm so glad now on Xbox we'll be able to turn this off. Cannot wait, people. Cannot wait. But I also go on and say we have further good news to share with you today. We believe we have identified and now prevented the item wipe items disappearing issue from occurring in the Outriders demo, which is absolutely amazing. I myself have lost two or three legendaries. Every time I stream, I'm having constantly, constantly people stating that they're having their inventories wiped or they're missing legendaries or they're logged off with a certain set many and then they come back on and they're all gone. Absolutely crazy and it is disappointing considering how long some of these take to farm for. So I'm glad now they have sorted this issue out. But it goes on. We've actually published the fix for the issue on Monday but have been using the day since to uh, verify whether our resolution has been successful in order to not make any false promises. Today's patch has added an extra safeguard against the issue occurring in the future based on our findings. To that end, we would please ask any players who have had their inventory wiped on any of the following days to please let us know. If you're replying to the tweet people in this, I will link down below if you do want to go leave a comment there because you have had things disappear. The dates are Tuesday, March 16th, Wednesday, March 17th, Thursday, March 18th, today or any day after which is Friday the 19th of March. We hope that no inventory wipes should have occurred during these days. We want to ensure that the issue has been resolved. So please do let us know. So yes guys, if you've had anything disappear since they said they applied the issue which was last Monday, Please do let them know. And then go and talk about restoration. People, we may be getting something back in return for our missing legendaries. Now that we believe that the issue has been prevented going forward, we can focus a bit more on how we can compensate affected players. We fully understand the disappointment of feeling like you have lost significant progress, items, or time, which to be honest, guys, it does feel like we have, especially when a legendary disappears when we spent so long trying to get it. And they would like to people ensure us that they are doing everything in their power to make things right. While we are still working on exact technicalities, below are our intentions for item restorations. Restorations should take place on a specific day and should be a one-time event. The exact date is to be confirmed, but we're hoping for this to occur prior to the launch of Outriders on April 1st. We will update you when we have a confirmation of date and timings. We will only be able to store legendary items that have been lost as a result of this bug. We will not be able to store items of a rarity below legendary. At this time, you do not need to get in touch with us to report inventory disappearances that occurred prior to Monday, March 15th. Please note that these are our intentions that we are providing here for transparency. While we will try our hardest to make things right, we unfortunately cannot make guarantees for the specifics of the above or the timeline of this, as we may run into technical difficulties that delay our work. They then talk about accolades as well, and I actually have a friend who actually had all his accolades reset. They state, this appears to be a separate issue and we do still need to uncover the full extent of it in order to better tailor a resolution for it. To that end, could anyone who has had their accolades wiped please reply to this comment or this tweet. I'll link the tweet down below people. Understanding the numbers of players affected by this will help us greatly as we continue to investigate the issue. Other things that we are investigating with a hope for improvements before launch. Touchpad sensitivity being too high in PlayStation controllers leading to unintended menu openings. Further optimizations for two multiplayer connections. 
The main game will also include a host of improvements and bug fixes that weren't possible to be integrated into the demo at the time of demo release due to when we had these development builds. So even if there are things that we may not have directly addressed during these updates so far, there's a good chance that they will be resolved with the launch build. And there we have it guys. A great thing to know that they've sorted out the inventory wipe bug. I mean this was a massive problem for many many people so I'm glad they've sorted that out. I'm also glad as an Xbox player as well that we're going to jump on to there. I will be live streaming later people if you do want to stop by and check it out. I'm so glad that there's a motion blur toggle where I can turn this thing off. I'm also looking forward to the improvements to matchmaking too because I'm still having a few issues here and there with matchmaking on Xbox. But yes guys, that is today's update and today's Outriders video done. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.